In this example, we will be looking for all solutions to the following equation. The equation that we have here is e to the x times sine of x plus e to the x is equal to zero. So what we have is on the left hand side of the equation is where all of our x's are uh, located. Um, it's equal to zero already here and the general method for being able to solve equations like this would be to take the, the left hand side here and factor it. Once we have it completely factored we can set each factor equal to zero to solve um, and that's using the zero product property. If you have the product of things equal to zero one of those factors would have to be equal to zero. So looking here at the left hand side, we've got two terms that are separated by this plus sign right here. Um, the first term would be e to the x times sine of x, and the second term would be e to the x. So looking at those two terms, we see the greatest common factor that we could pull out of both of the terms would be e to the x. And when we pull it out of the first term, we're left with uh, sine of x. But then we still do have this plus sign and we needed this kind of placeholder of one. Because we have e to the x after the plus sign, we could think about that as e to the x times one, so that when we pull out the e to the x, we have the one still sitting there to hold its place so that we have the sum. Um, so now we have the left-hand side factored equal to zero, and we set each factor equal to zero to solve. So we have e to the x is equal to zero, and when we solve that, uh, we are looking for x values um, that when we have e to that x value, we get zero. Uh, if we're going to try to undo an e, often we would think, well, we would uh, introduce the natural log to both sides to um, be able to uh, eliminate the e, um, leaving us only with x. But if we have natural log of zero, we end up with undefined. Um, because zero is not in the domain of the natural log function. Another way to think about this graphically is the graph of e to the x looks like this. That graph does not touch or cross the x-axis anywhere, so there are no such x values that give us um, the y value of zero. So here we have no solution for the e to the x equals zero. Now we have a sine of x plus one is equal to zero. And that gives us, um, or we, when we're trying to solve that, we realize that the only x is in the um, argument of sine. And so when we're trying to isolate the x there, we have to isolate the term that has x in it. And so we'd have sine of x is equal to negative one when we subtract one from both sides. So now to be able to solve this uh, trig equation, I would go back to the unit circle here and when we're looking at sine of x is equal to negative one, um, sine we associate with the y from the ordered pair of points on the unit circle. And so we're really looking at points on the unit circle who have y value equal to negative one, and there's just one such point there. It's located there at the unit circle, and that particular angle um, between zero and two pi would be three pi over two. But of course, that's not the unique uh, way to represent the angle that is associated with that terminal point. Um, and we're looking for all solutions to this equation. And so um, we would have to add any um, integer multiple of 2 pi to get any other one. Um, so for instance, if we added 2 pi, we would have, uh, let's see, it would be 3 pi over 2 plus, we could think about that as 4 pi over 2. So that could be a total of 7 pi over 2. And we could keep going. If we were to subtract 2 pi, instead we'd be looking at the negative pi over 2. And again, we could keep going in that direction. So to capture all of these, we would have um, x is equal to, we could just pick any one of them. Uh, we could go with the first one that we uh, wrote out, the 3 pi over 2, the one that lands between 0 and 2 pi. But then what we would have to account for is um, multiples of 2 pi. And so we write that as 2 pi times k, where k uh, is an integer. Integer covers all positive and negative um, whole numbers as well as 0. And that would be our solution to this equation.